Hello, it's Elizabeth here, starting a new video series about the language part of NLP. As you know, NLP stands for Neuro Linguistic Programming, and the linguistic part is the part that I'm going to be concentrating on in this series. I've been studying NLP since 1984, also used to be an English teacher. I'm very interested in language and words, and that's why I particularly want to do this series. Why you might want to watch this series is because maybe you are an NLP practitioner and you want to revise the language patterns that you learned. That's a useful thing to do. Or it may be that you're thinking of training in NLP and you're getting started by watching something like this. Either way, I think you'll find it useful. And what it will do is it will change the way that you listen to people, really will change the way that you listen to them and the questions that you ask them will become more precise as a result of um, watching this series. So if you think you'd be interested in that, please do subscribe by hitting the red button. Now I'm going to be talking about this aspect of language today, deep structure and surface structure. So as you can see, I've put two words in the top part of this diagram, play and work. And each of those words for an individual connects down into the deeper structure of their experience. So if somebody says play, the word play to you, you'd be making a mistake to think that you understood what they meant. If you just consider it for a moment, play has many meanings. Also would have very individual meanings for the person who says it, because that word connects to this deep structure of their experience. And the deep structure contains their memories, their family background, their beliefs, their values, their ambitions, their experiences. And so out of all those experiences and thoughts and feelings, a word like play pops out of somebody's mouth. But the connection is to all of these things that are happening with them. And of course, the same with work, the same with uh, any other word. So that's where we're going to be coming from with the work that we do here in this video series. And my tip for you for uh, today is that you really do listen very carefully to people's words. You may get the opportunity to ask them about those words, but whether you do or you don't, just practice sometimes saying their actual words back to them. It's something that people feel nervous about doing at first, but it's a tremendous acknowledgement of experience of the other person if you can just say some of their exact words back to them with no paraphrase. Just try it this week. <laughs>